How's it going, eh? Mr. Spirit here, and I suck at Demo Knight. Like, literally, I have no advice for you for Demo Knight. If you want some good Demo Knight, go watch King Raja. This is, like, the best footage I had. And, <laughs> really, don't take any advice for Demo Knight from me except for how to use a, a grenade launcher. <laughs> That's about it. So, I want to ask you guys a question for the comments today. Would you rather have a big kill streak, at win or lose, but not do any of the objective work as a player, or would you rather have a low to no kill streak, lots of deaths, but have accomplished a lot of work through taking out sentries, capturing objectives, pushing carts? Hash it out in the comments below. Remember, everyone's entitled to their style of gameplay and their opinion. So, I am not a good player. I am, at best, a decent player to above average. And why do I say that? Because I can't get long kill streaks. Most I've had probably is about a 15 kill streak. The only time I've gotten long kill streaks is as engineer, but that's because that's using engineer knowledge and a sentry gun versus actual deathmatch skills. And you may be saying, oh no, you're you're a good player in that. It's like, yes, I am a good player, but I'm pretty terrible. <laughs> That's where my balance comes in, is I'm good at getting objectives done and staying on objective, be it guarding the point or capturing the point, stopping the payload, sacrificing my life to kill a medic. Yes, I'm good at that. However, I'm not very good at staying alive, just killing people repeatedly. And I've been in lots of games where people have gone on 20 to 30 kill streaks, but the thing is, they've never done anything with the objective. They've just went for kills. And that's where I draw my line is I'd rather be the team player and work on objectives, even when goofing around like a demo knight, than I would go chasing for kills now I know some people are very good at DM and they have very great other skills like rocket jumping sticky jumping and all that stuff and that's cool that that is cool I'm not the best sticky jumper or rocket jumper but I know how to do it I know the basic mechanics I, I know how to get it done that, that's what I'm getting at is I can get it done my problem is is that when it comes to an objective and no one's doing it except for me it frustrates me to no end that hey why am i the only one working on this like guys uh i know kills matter to a degree but it only matters if you're doing the objective and that's where competitive always tickled my fancy because Everyone was playing the objective. No one was pay playing strictly for kills. And it was awesome because you'd be doing your work and go, Hey, look at me. I I'm doing the objective. And everyone was happy at the end of it, win or lose, because you tried your best. And you played to your best of your abilities. Then came your one Koth map for the season, usually product, and it's like, well, we don't have the DM skills, so odds are we're probably going to lose. Because King of the Hill comes down to it, it's a lot of DM skills versus objective. But it is still possible to win it by playing objective if the other team's more aggressive just trying to get the kills than they are trying to cap it with three, four, five times people on there to capture it faster. So... I think of myself as a terrible player in the terms of deathmatch that way. But when it came to objective and that, my teammates have always enjoyed that there was a guy who'd push the cart, make kills, take out nests and that. And what I think in my mind, I think is the Dunning-Kruger effect. You think you're so good, but you're terrible. You think you're so bad, but you're actually good. And... That goes for a lot of players. I've seen so many people think that they're the world's best thing, 
but they have no game sense whatsoever. Spy sneaks up on them, they get surrounded by three or four people, and they just get angry. And it's like, well, why did you come out here and get yourself killed? Did you not think of there'd be people here? Did you not think that it would be dangerous to come out here? It, it's one of those things that baffles me with the human mind that... Ugh, I'm not shocked that people can think that way. It's I'm shocked that people will use that attitude. And since people are using that attitude, it makes me wonder, uh, can people actually really improve themselves as a player without DM skills and without just sitting behind a century and knowing your placements and sight lines and that? Like myself, I, I sat so long that... <laughs> I never actually learned real DM skills. I learned how to defend myself a bit against spies and a few other classes, but I never actually learned to deal with other players a whole lot with other weapons. Whereas someone like, say, oh, I don't know, Muzulk, Banny, and that, they learn to be up on the front lines a whole lot. Where I just know how to get people to go, to motivate them, and that's by being the objective player. And <laughs> it, 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 it's strange to think that I've come this far as a player and don't actually like doing a lot of the front work, but know how to motivate people to do the front work <laughs> by doing front work. <laughs> It's one of those things that's a riddle wrapped in an enigma, wrapped in a please and thank you because of the Canadian. So maybe you guys like to play the objective just as much as I do, or maybe you like to kill more. I don't know. And if you do it, then, then go ahead. I, I'm not judging you of, hey, you just like to kill stuff, or hey, you like to play the objective. There's nothing wrong with either, and it... It makes me happy seeing other people who play the objective, too. Because that in the end, that's what really matters, is the objective. So, thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next one.